taking a turn away from him before they come into line. Epi Sacra lining up in front. And they're off. Away and racing they go for the first of seven races here at Garthorpe this afternoon. Racing down towards the first. Epi Sacra holds a narrow lead on taking the first from Comanche Red. Down along the inside. Long distance traveller up here today from the Gordon base. In third spot early on is Vivaldi Colange in a dark blue. More towards his near side for Ben Bromley. And the back marker is Roy Carno. Number two, which were the last in two circuits time, and on the inside, Comanche Red got that all wrong. Put in at least one extra stride, was right into the roots as they come past us with two circuits left to travel. Epi Sacra and the Emerald Green with Comanche Red matching strides at the inside in the light and dark blue. They've got just over a length advantage on the third running Vivaldi Colange. Comanche Red fired at the open ditch, that was much better. And on the flip side, Epi Sacra was slow over the ditch and Vivaldi Colange came up his inside to share an outright second place. Now with Roy Carno continuing to watch on at the back of the quartet. Phil Lawrence looking for his first winner. It's his 39th ride here. So he come on towards this next plane fence going up the side. All over that one well and Comanche Red who was a five-time winner under rules. A winner just 10 days ago at Cothelston as well going left-handed so he's going to go the other way around here but has been equally adept at both in the past under rules leads up by a length to Vivaldi Colange who ran in a Scottish national in 2017 and with Paul Nichols as they come into the wings of another Vivaldi Colange jumped that well just about past Epi Sacra is three wide for Freddie Henderson and a couple of lengths back to Roy Carno in the rear Comanche Red took a chance at the middle fence in the back, was long, but just held the lead over Vivaldi Colonge. Front pair a couple of lengths on now, if not three or four from Epi Sacra. It's in danger of taking each other on at this still relatively early stage in proceedings. And Roy Carno would be three or four lengths off the back of Epi Sacra, who's currently in third. Well, the front pair have now gone five or six lengths clear with Comanche Red at the inside of Vivaldi Colange. Epi Sacra quite happy to take a break off them. Is now six lengths behind in third. And a couple of lengths further back to Roy Carno. He's yet to pass a rival, a 12-year-old, five-time previous winner in the pointing field. As they come on down the hill towards this plain fence. The only, circuit, the only fence on the circuit they've not jumped yet. And Comanche Red up and over with a really good leap there. Out jumped. Vivaldi Colonge, who's now a length and a half to two lengths behind, and Ben Bromley's decided he doesn't quite want to go that quick and is allowing Comanche Red to go on out in front. A break behind Vivaldi Colonge to the third Epi Sacra of some half a dozen lengths as they come up and over the first at the home straight, and then a break of eight or ten back to Roy Carno at the back of the field. Well, Freddie Gordon is trying to drop anchor in front here on Comanche Red, but every time he does, Vivaldi Colonge comes alongside again as they come into the wings of the fence, which will be the last next time. Comanche Red was much better at that fence than he was a circuit ago. Roy Carno wasn't, had a nibble of the grass at the back of the field as they come up in front of us with a circuit to go. Comanche Red on the inside of Vivaldi Colonge, who's run over three miles five and three miles six in his last two starts, dropping back to the three miles here, taking the open ditch was slow Vivaldi Colonge as well. They have started to stack up a little bit. Epi Sacra now only three lengths behind the front pair, but Roy Carno is still detached off the back of Epi Sacra. In all truth, he's never really been near the back end of Epi Sacra the whole way round as they come towards the fence going away from us. Up the side, Comanche Red, good leap in front from Vivaldi Colange in second place. Not too much to split them, only a length 
as they turn right-handed to race on down the far side. Three or four lengths to Epi Sacra. Now, Roy Carno is catching them up now. He's still the back marker, but he's the closest he's ever been to Epi Sacra, and he's only half a dozen lengths off the lead. First one coming up down the back straight. Ben Bromley coming alongside of Vivaldi Colonge again, but Comanche Red out jumped Vivaldi Colonge and stayed a half-length clear. Half a dozen lengths back to Epi Sacra and Roy Carno as a front pair kick again as Comanche Red gave that middle fence in the back a belt and Vivaldi Colonge came back alongside again final fence in the back straight much better from Comanche Red they continue to out jump each other taking turns to do it they're eight lengths clear of the other pair Roy Carno coming alongside Epi Sacre for that position as they head towards the end of the back straight they're now more than eight lengths behind it'd be a good 10 or 12 as Comanche Red on the inside of Vivaldi Colonge turn right handed to head on down the side with a big break on Epi Sacre in third place, Roy Carno still yet to pass a rival as they move down towards the third from home. Comanche Red digging in up the inside of Vivaldi Colonge. We know he stays. There's no problem about his stamina. Heading down towards the third from home. He's just in front of Vivaldi Colonge on the outside of Comanche Red. They're clear from Epi Sacra. Roy Carno never at the races. Turning right-handed back towards home. Vivaldi Colonge has gone on by over a length now to Comanche Red in second place. Now two lengths down, needs to find more, Epi Sacra 8 or 10 back in third, over 2 from home, Vivaldi Colonge out in front and clear from Comanche Red in second place, Epi Sacra back in third, detached likewise Roy Carno, Vivaldi Colonge has half a dozen lengths on Comanche Red and he's getting away, here's the last, Vivaldi Colonge up big, bold at the last and clear from Comanche Red in second, Epi Sacra running on back in third and then Roy Carno who's never passed a rival but Vivaldi Colonge out, stays them here in the hands of Ben Bromley, goes on to win again tight second, Comanche Red just holding off, Epi Sacra a brave run from Comanche Red, Epi Sacra third, Roy Carno never passed a rival, last of four